Hey, what's going on, you guys? Anthony J here. Uh, back with another vlog. Um, <clears throat> today I want to speak about change, as you guys can see uh, in the description down below, um, and how change has changed my life. Um, for me, it started in the mind. It started with how I wanted my life to go, right? But before it started in my mind, it started with a feeling. That's right, a feeling. I had a feeling that came across me one day. It's like an awakening. And this feeling pretty much was letting me know that there was more out here. There was more to life. There was more to the norm, actually. That feeling never went away. It changed not only how I felt about my current situation, but that when that feeling came, it changed the way I spoke to people. It changed the way that I viewed things, you know? It changed the way that I went about my everyday life. And that's one thing I, I encourage in life. Um, in order for you to see a different outcome, is to change the way you think. Change your outcome. Change, it'll change your circumstance, right? And then you'll start becoming a little more knowledgeable about where you are, why are you there, and then what you actually want out of life. And so for me, when I had that feeling and I had to adapt to that change, and I started to realize like, okay, I do know that there's more for me Raising my kids, I also wanted that same outlook for them. Um, I began to stop playing music in my vehicle. I began to stop hanging out with certain people. I began to stop going to certain places that I was journeying down. Um, everything about my outlook in life started to open up in different ways that you only see on television, right? Um, it's just like living out here. I live out here. This is my community. Got people like this that walk dogs and people like that that ride bikes, you know? To a lot of people that's watching this, maybe you guys lived in this your whole life. A lot of people that come from my, where I come from can recognize what I've been through, like the projects in the hood and the ghetto. Only see this when they're going to go visit someone. So for me, this is what I wanted to wake up to. It's not just the environment that I wanted to change. I wanted this change primarily for my kids, the ones I'm bringing up behind me, you know. And also, yes, of course, for myself, because I wasn't raised like this. You know, where I was raised that it was constant distraction. It was just constant negativity. You know, it, it was just a lack of education, a lack of motivation, a lack of mentorship. I mean, if you did have mentorship, it'd be very minute, you know. It'd be in a, in a space of, like, family and mutual friends and extended family. Um, so, again, that feeling lives with me that when that change took place, when that feeling of, like, it's time to stop living how you've been living and just readjust it was it was time for that readjustment and i knew i needed that readjustment um because i didn't want to become confined to repetition repetition was getting me nowhere and the only way that i knew it was going to change is if i would go to work the next day or go to class or something and i was like man i'm tired of this i don't want to do this and so it might slightly change but for the majority of 
how I was like conducting myself. When I felt it, I was like, this ain't it. This ain't it. And so I started to change ever so slightly every little thing that I was doing every day. And I kept telling myself what was helping me to reach those new adaptations was the fact that I was making it a priority daily to be like, all right, if you was able to change, you know, <clears throat> just your company in your space, you know, change how you eat. Do that for 30 days and see how you feel. And then change your routine when you go home. Change your routine before you leave home. Change how you wake up and set your alarm. You know, see how that'll make you feel. See if that'll give me a little more energy and make me a little more tired. Like, there's nothing wrong, you guys, with making some tweaks and adjustments to your day. It's your day. You know, you have to live these days. But you don't have to live them in the same space that you've always lived those days. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to. We're, we're stuck in it because it's like, it's a constant reminder that I'm doing this for the end of this week's um, outcome. And that's not true. We've programmed ourselves like that and we stayed there. And so in turn, it's like, well, I don't have it yet to do this or I'm not in a position yet to do that. Why do you think we've adapted to that? It's because we've been stuck with limitations on our mind because we didn't change the way we was thinking to get out of that situation. I had to do that for myself. I grew up in a household with my biological five siblings and then on top of that, I had step siblings. So that was eight of us at one point before I went into like the foster care and the detentional centers and um, you know, just different spaces that had me isolated. Cause like I said, in one of my videos, I was already in confined space before social media. I mean, before the COVID, not social media. Social media has just evolved. And guys, we're supposed to evolve with it. You know what I mean? We're not supposed to just, I'm not gonna get on that topic. But again, you don't have like, you don't get, you're not given many opportunities when the, where you come from don't supply it or can't provide it. And what I mean by that, you guys, is like, if my people didn't have it, my father, my mother, or my grandmother, aunts and uncles or whatever, they didn't have it to give it to us, then it was up to us to go and get it, right? And so the way that I would think when I was younger was, I have to go out here and make something happen. I have to go make this change for myself. You know, and I was out here getting it and getting it the wrong way. Like, I wasn't using my head to actually understand what it was that I needed to progress in life to move forward in a positive way. I wasn't making those accurate educational calculated steps to really like put myself above longevity wise. I was calculating my steps based off, I wanted fast, like the quick way, like not just hustling, but thugging and running in the streets, you know, the street terms. Um, although I was a good person, I was just making bad decisions. And I knew for a fact that what I was doing was wrong and it wasn't the most prevalent thing to be out in society doing, but I feel like, oh, there's a reward at the end of what I'm doing because once I do this, it's gonna benefit me and I know it's gonna benefit me. And honestly, you guys, that was not the way that I should have been just moving, you know? And again, you know, it was because of where I came from. I don't place blame on my peers and, and my guardianship, I don't place it on that. I place it on where we come from. You know what I'm saying? The the um, the resources that we were given, it wasn't like, I'm not gonna say we didn't have equal opportunity, but we didn't know about it because we wasn't in the space, in the realm of vacation of like, grabbing hold and sticking to what we can do to make our life more conducive to the next people who are the one percenters in the world. Like we wasn't, we wasn't, it, it's not the fact of giving a civic spoon. I'm not talking about that. 
but we wasn't given that major opportunity to see change. Because it seemed like, not that it seemed like before fact, when you come from a, a black background and you don't have, and then that generational poverty continues and, and it's one fighting individual that's gonna fight to get you out of there, but there's always somebody that's gonna be wanna pull on your coattail to bring you back. When you come from that, it's a hundred times harder to climb up the ladder to make change unless you use the tools that I speak about in most of my videos like being focused like um, pretty much being consistent having that consistency um, which is vital um, and I think focus for me is number one because if you do come from these environmental slums um, if you do focus yourself in a position to say, I'm gonna stick with this, I'm gonna use that, then you can you have a fighting chance, you know what I mean? But even when you're like, I wanna make this change, I wanna make this change, and I know it's gonna happen, even though you have that in you, it's up to you to keep that in your mind that this change is gonna happen and because you believe in it. You believe in that change so much that you won't let nobody deter you from that. You, you can't, you know what I mean? You can't let anyone deter you from your happiness, your own personal desires in life. I'm walking on a road that I shouldn't be, but guess what? It's because I wanted to change the way that I wanted the story to go, this vlog right here. I wanted to change my whole way of like going about speaking to you guys because you know, why keep it the same? And if I'm talking about change, just change it up. You know, get a new narrative, you know, have a new meaning about myself. Um, and, and I'm surprised because as I'm out here in this change of the experiment, I see people um, that I, I really didn't think come out at this time um, that, that live right in my proximity. And that's another thing. When you have guardianship, that's like, like forced guardianship, meaning like people take care of you that didn't ask to take care of you, that didn't birth you, they don't have uh, your actual birthright. There's gonna be way more limitations on what you can do because that guardian don't wanna feel that they've done a bad job of raising you. So for example, for me, before I was out on my own at 15, I'm not gonna say on my own, but as I was away from family in the world at 15 years old, right? The individual that was raising me, which was my grandmother at the time, she would always say, don't go outside this compound and at that point, you know, being a teenager, we knew what she meant. We knew how far we can go and how far we couldn't go. But did we listen? Not all the time. And if she watching this, forgive me. But we didn't listen all the time. You know, there was times where we went outside the compound. We had bikes and things like that. And we had friends that had cars. We didn't have all that stuff, but we, was, we knew the time, the clock in, the clock out. You know what I mean? Y'all can go outside, y'all can go to the park. Y'all stay in this area. But don't go outside this compound. But we knew we had to change for ourselves to be men because we were boys. It was us boys living with my grandmother. The three of us, my older brother, me and my younger brother. And then I have a baby brother and I have a sister, but long story short, that, that goes to the limitations that I spoke about, right? So if you know that you are limited by certain circumstances or certain mishaps, Find out what those barriers are. Find out what those limits are that's holding you back from your own personal success. Guys, listen to this. Success does not have to mean wealth, or I'm sorry, some type of income, you know? Success could be you getting that education that you dreamed of. You getting that trade as a nursing assistant. You jump on a platform and, and reach 
a high number of subscription. Success comes in many forms and in many languages. So don't subscribe yourself to saying success is wealth because that's not 100% true. And that's why a lot of people fail because a lot of people want the wealth as a means of success, but you guys don't want to put in the work to get it. And again, I'm doing these videos to help somebody. I'm not doing it just to hear myself talk. And I know I would get that, but if that was the case, I would have money, I would have jewelry, I would have nice clothes, I would have cars and stuff. I got what I have to make me happy and to keep going the next day, to make my children happy, to make them have a productive and positive life. Some beautiful dogs. So don't, you know, don't think like success necessarily have to do with some type of financial stability or some type of financial status. That's not always the case. Now you can change your circumstances to make that possible. That is, that is a, a, a great choice. You know what I mean? But I want to say this, man. Seek change. I know it's windy. Seek change in every aspect of your life. Mentally, physically, educational-wise, spiritually, health, right? Wealth. Seek change. Although I preach about like being focused and all this other stuff and setting goals, eh, remain humble through the process. Stay consistent, right? But what has helped me on my journey was I seek change. I seek change every day. That's why I go by Infinite J, because I seek to make a better me. I seek to put this human essence in a higher plateau, right? I don't have to live like the Joneses. I don't have to keep up the Joneses. I don't have to, again, put myself in like the most predominant Caucasian environmental setting. I'm just saying that because, you know, that's the way of life. That's the way of the world. You know what I mean? I seek change to better me. I seek change to better me so I can better someone else. I seek change for the fact that growing up, all I knew was survival, right? Which is not a bad thing, but it shouldn't be the only thing. How to get away from flying bullets. How to dodge being jumped into a game. How to go to school and stay focused and get my education like I need to. Right? It was it was more so survival where I came from. I'm gonna get hit by this car if I don't. <laughs> right? So get out here and, and, and become a part of something. You know, I learned how to fix vehicles on my own. I went from driving 18 wheelers, you know, to being able to sit up and educate myself daily. On the daily, you guys. On the daily, like, that's something I find myself to do. Like, if I want to sit on this curve next to this mulch, I will gladly do that and then let people pass me by and wave. You know, they're going to be like, i never seen that guy before. It's okay. It's nobody business but mine what I'm doing right here. As long as I'm not getting in trouble. And that's one thing I used to do. Like I used to put myself in a position where I was being sneaky about certain things and I was getting in trouble. You know, we don't have to go about life that way. Just make yourself be aware that you belong. You're human, you have human rights. You know, I'm sitting on private property, I'm sure. But as long as I, hey, move along, I have to move along. But isn't that what, you know, politics are all about? Making change. Whether they're gonna stay the same or whether they're gonna advance and get better, whether they're gonna create something, recreate and and and, and give back. You know, that's what society is about, you know, generosity. And that's why I always say peace, love, respect, and positivity, you guys, because what's life without those things? You know what I'm saying? What's life looking over your shoulder 24 seven? Who wants to live like that? You know, who wants to be in that kind of situation? I know I don't. You know, I think if I come out and do another video around this time, 6.30. I 
think this is where I be. So if y'all see me like with the little plant behind me, I don't know what those are called, but y'all know I just walked here. But seek change, you guys. Seek change for the better. You know what I mean? I spent, I've wasted 18 years of my life because I wasn't allowing myself to become knowledgeable to obtain the things that would have benefited me for the next day. And I say this a lot to like my peer group and my siblings. Do something today that's gonna benefit you tomorrow. Do something right now that will benefit you tomorrow, right? If I do something today, it's gonna waste some time and it's gonna put you back in life from where you're trying to go when you're going forward. It's okay to take minor setbacks, um, but don't just use those words like landishly, like just make some type of productivity today that can set you up financially, health-wise, anything tomorrow, and then continue that. A lot of people are like, man, you, you know, you, you look good for your age. I'm not sitting here giving myself bragging rights. I'm okay, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can, I can do better. But I think it's because I put myself in a situation after knowing better to become healthy, to maintain, you know, how I should look and things of that nature. But guess what, you guys? I think I'm going to conclude this video for the simple fact that I hate mosquitoes. I love nature, but I hate mosquitoes. I don't hate them, I just hate the fact that they attack me. They're not doing nothing wrong, they're just looking for food. So since I'm getting attacked, that means I need to change what I'm doing. I need to move right along, you know? So, anywho, you guys, I thank you guys for watching, for tuning in. Uh, if you guys hadn't already, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment down in the description below what you think of the video, uh, what it is that you've done in your life to change, um, what it is that I can do to help you change. And then subscribe to the channel, you guys, if you hadn't subscribed to Infinite J2 Forever Gang, because whatever I say is forever gang. So, and everything that I have spoken on has been forever. So, there's nothing new that I'm speaking about. I'm just making some little minor adjustments, doing a little tweakalization here and there, you know, getting a little edumacation here and there. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Play with it, have fun with it, but make change, you guys. Not just to make the world great, but to make you great. Because you are great. You're phenomenal. You know what I mean? Like we say, keep it 100. You are 100. So make change to make you a better person. Do something today that will benefit your tomorrow. And be happy and enjoy your life. Because what's sadness? Nothing. Don't get you nowhere. So be happy, you guys. Peace, love, joy, positivity. Love y'all. Peace.